Now, CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. And in the tropics we go, Hurricane Lorenzo, which became a Category 5 storm over the weekend, is now weakening as it continues to move to the north in the northeast Atlantic. It has been basically only out over the water and uh, did encounter one ship out there uh, that they did a, a rescue operation on over the weekend. But winds 105 miles an hour moving to the north northeast. The next encounter is going to be over land. That's going to be the westernmost Azores there. And then after that, it's going to bring hurricane force conditions up into the UK, uh, the British Isles, rather, Ireland, and parts of Scotland there. So this, uh, Big storm for the eastern and northeast Atlantic. Waves going to be a big issue here. Waves building up to 50 feet, uh, moving along with the storm as it marches to the northeast. They're approaching the uh, Irish coast there. And then after that, the storm begins to weaken some and the wave height goes down. But this is going to be a big deal up there through the northeast part of the Atlantic. So there's Lorenzo. It's basically quiet elsewhere across the tropics. but. There's an area of thunderstorms here around Cuba, around Hispaniola, and in the Northern Caribbean. And even though the computer models aren't really developing anything here, this is something we just watch. We don't need to get excited about it. But anytime you have thunderstorms in the Caribbean this time of year, it is something we watch. So we'll be watching that. Here's our Windjam Resort camera this afternoon. We're watching big waves crashing on the shore under that northeast breeze. The palms blowing pretty good. Temperature is 86 in Miami, 84, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 87 in Key West. Sticking scales of five feels like 91. The northeast breeze 18 gusting up to 26. A little bit of rain here or there. Radar showing these showers moving in on that northeast breeze, and we're going to see some more showers as we go through the evening. Not too long duration, so if you get hit by one, it's not going to last too long. Also, showers now spreading into the middle keys from the upper keys there, the lower keys for the moment looking pretty good. Peak wind gusts today anywhere from 28 to 35 miles an hour, and temperatures today made it despite the winds upper 80s to the low 90s. Satellite loop in motion, you can see the clouds blowing on by. Bye. And then there's that area of moisture down there to the south. That is going to get pulled north later in the week. In the meantime, just moisture for showers on the breeze. But by about Thursday and Friday, that moisture comes our way and increases our chances for showers and thunderstorms, maybe even some brief heavy downpours. Forecast for tonight looks like this. Brief showers, breezy at times, a low temperature near 78 for tomorrow. Look for a mix of sun and clouds. A continued breeze out of the northeast, quick showers blowing by, and a high temperature near 88 degrees. For boaters, winds out of the northeast at 20. Seas running 5 to 9 feet, 9 feet seas in the Gulf Stream and taking us through the rest of the week. Breezy and better rain chance by later in the week. Back to you.